I got this. I got exactly the one I wanted. Are we live, baby? I don't see the um the blue thong Jimmy the Jiffy on uh Instagram. You don't oh, see the blue yeah, Jiffy, yeah, because yeah, yeah. you gotta hit the. I see it. It's, it's live. Yeah, there's a little bit of a delay with it, so it don't always come up like exactly in the beginning. Hold on, let me see it. Let me close this out. Let me close this out. So we live, we live, we live, we live. Yes, sir. Ski. All right. Yes, sir. Ski. As long awaited. Yo, it seemed like since the last time we was on live, the whole world went crazy. Bruh. Yeah, what is going nah, facts, on? facts, 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 facts. <laughs> One day later, like, yo, yo. Kip decided to go nuts on a, on a verse. I, we only had to start there. I'm just saying, like. Now, you, you know, it's funny, bro. So I'm, I'm running today. And I'm listening to uh, J. Cole, uh, Forest Hill Drive. And mm -hmm. you could argue that mm -hmm. J. Cole been throwing shots. Listen, I'm a, I'm a mm -hmm. J. Cole fan. I'm mm -hmm. a Cole mm -hmm. fan. And mm -hmm. I mean, me personally, I think I think Cole win in, in that versus any day. That's just my opinion. But okay. all I'm saying is, listen, all I'm saying is, I was listening to Forest Hill Drive and he kept making like, like little subs about people not being number one. And he mentioned uh Drake, he mentioned uh Kendrick, he mentioned him, and he was like, Man, but I'm number one. He's been saying this. So I don't know when I don't know when that control uh song dropped. When did that drop? What year was that? That was a while ago. That was you you talking about literally 2016, 2015, bro. So when did when did um J. Cole Forest Hills drop? Let's see. Hold I on. think it came after that. Yeah, so I'm thinking he was doing his little subliminal responses. I'm just saying, bro. Okay, okay. All right, all right. So if we going off of your premise, you feeling like Ken... Well, first of all, I feel like this ain't stemmed from that. I feel like Kendrick making his stand at this moment is clearly based off of what was recently said on For All My Dogs album. There were some shots taken and there was some stances took where dudes was saying, I'm number one and I don't care what none of y'all got to say about it. I want to clarify for the record. This ain't got nothing to do with no girls. This ain't got to do with no money. This has everything to do with MCs being MCs saying I'm let, the best. Let me ask and you, what's, what's wrong? What? What's wrong with an MC saying I'm the best? Like, 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 like I'm, wrong, said, I'm, I'm numero uno. That's what he said, right? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. feel like every time, like Kendrick, when when Kendrick want to do, he want to do. What he want to do is come shake up the industry and leave. It's like, bro, drop some music of your own that we can so that your fans can listen to. It's like every time you get on somebody else track, you don't gotta be dissing other niggas. Like it's like it's giving clout chasing. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It almost feel like your feelings <laughs> hurt. Over. No, yo, no, my feelings not hurt. It's just like hey, they hit your dog. He hit your dog with a couple of shots. That was some pop, pop, pop. Yo, yo, what a it was, but like yo, this is old school hip hop. I feel like, come on, man. Y'all, we've been friendly forever. I'm tired. I'm tired of everybody kumbaya. -ing. And I don't want to sound like uh Joe. I hate the fact that right now I'm agreeing with Joe in this fashion. But yo, hasn't come on, yo. It's been boring. You sitting out here caping for sexy red. That's how bad it is out here. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, Hendrick, shake this up. Throw some shots. Yo, Drake went straight on stage at the concert and told y'all he ain't with none of this. He's not phased by it. And now I just heard like a verse. It's not finished. But yo, he going he going straight for Kendrick Head. Let's go. I'm tired of this boring stuff. Like yo, get let's get back to niggas battling and then not being about killing each other. But let's talk about who's the best. Yo, Kendrick is sticking heads, bro. Yeah, J. Is Cole is going down. Let yo, your man's this. dead. I'm sorry. Let me, go ahead. Ask, let me ask. Let me ask you this. Do you think it can strictly be just that? Like yes. MC battles. Yes. When the last time we seen that in hip hop? It's been a while. It's been a while. But have we, we had you would know this more than me. Have we ever seen it? All right, yo, it wasn't no violence between uh 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 Pusha T and, and Drake. They just it wasn't no violence, but I then, mean it could have been violence, but it, yeah, <laughs> but let's just clearly state that, like in this scenario, there's really no real beef, like nobody's 
done anything like you know what i'm saying yo the crazy part is two of the guys in the battle were married mm -hmm. settled got kids it's all cool drake is the only one out in the streets out here being wild so the reason why I'm saying this is such a good battle is that this is all about who's the best, who can put the bars be together the best, who can put the, the, the songs together, who going to get the crowd going crazy, who's going to make the comment section go, ooh, you know what I mean? This summer is all about this face, that, ooh, ooh, Kendrick had niggas' faces going, Oh, like for the first I mean, time. That's, what, that's bro. Like that, no, come, on, come on. When was the last time you really heard a verse and went, damn? I tell you one. I, I tell you one. I tell you one. Uh, if you say sexy, I'm logging no, off. No, right, no, cool. no. Uh, when when J Cole dropped the uh um, what's the song? Um, shooter thing. What's the thing? When name of the song? First person shooter. First person shooter. When J Cole went when Drake. Tess who, who he's taking shots at. Listen, Can't you ask me, listen, listen, you asked me I, when the last I, time I, I when the last time I, I made a face like that. Right. When Drake dropped first person shooter, that's the last time I made a face like that. Yeah. So all I'm saying is, and even in that, I ain't like he wasn't like going at him. If anything, I, I felt like I heard him salute him. He was like, yo, me, Kendrick, and Drake, we the big three. You get what I'm saying? So I like to you for a nigga to salute you and you take back the salute. It's like, come on, bro. Hey, he said, it's just big me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't want to be compared to you <laughs> losers. I'm the, I'm yeah. him. I'm so, that guy. Period. Um, if we, if we being real though, if let's we being be real. real, let's be real. Don't even, yo, you about to say something crazy? I'm Go not. Ahead. If we being real, it goes, if it goes, Drake, J Cole, and then Kendrick. And if and we what, talk, and what way are we talking about this? Are you really in anywhere you look? In any way possible, 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 you in, in your heart. Possible. In your heart, you feel like Drake really is going to stand against Kendrick in a in a battle with like lyrics. Yes. <laughs> yo, you lying? Yo, <laughs> yes. This is shit. Yes. Yo, yo, hey, I'm not. Is, listen, I know. Listen, I understand. I understand. Listen, I understand. He gonna make a diddy bop. That's no, all no. I, I, listen, I, I listen. I understand the Ghost Rider things and all that, and his name. His name got smut on it. Like he can never get rid of that smut. I get that. Mm -hmm. But we mm -hmm. can't take away how talented this dude is. Like he can rap his ass off. Even in a first person shooter, a lot of people slept on his verse. A lot of people slept on his verse. Like Drake can really rap, bro. Like I'm I'm tired of you're niggas. Not, you're not bro. debating on whether or not he can really rap. Bro, and I can't Kendrick Lamar is, bro, he's, bro, it's funny. Me and Wayne don't had this conversation. Kendrick Lamar can rap. But that shit don't make a nigga like I don't want to listen to that shit in the car all the time. I can listen to Drake. I can literally run two hours straight and listen to nothing but Drake. I can't do that with Kendrick. Kendrick, it, like he's good, but we be overhyping these niggas because I'm not, I'm they got not a bunch of lyrics. I'm not gonna disagree that, but if we're gonna have this conversation, what we are gonna do is clarify who's the better MC. Can we play the clip, please, sir? Please, sir, play the clip. Four brilliant details you might have missed in Kendrick Lamar's like that verse. These niggas talking out of their neck, don't put no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for a threat. Like most of Kendrick's verse, this opening line addresses Drake and J. Cole's first person shooter, where the two take turns boasting about being the goats, which Kendrick took personally. Kendrick's opening bar warns them to watch their mouths, with the word coffin likely alluding to J. Cole's opening bar on first person shooter, returning her song to a funeral. But also notice how coffin is a homophone for coughing, which relates to the neck and mouth and plays on the idea that someone coughing threatens to get you sick. This is a play on both checks as in money and blue verification checks on social media, with the underlying message being that there's a lot of dummies with money and or online clout, but both don't mean anything if you're not respected like Kendrick is. But Goofies with a check is also a Drake diss, with Goofy being a cartoon dog, a play on for all my dogs, and a check... Come on, yo! I'm not even halfway through the video. Every bar is a double entendre unto itself. You cannot sit here and tell me Kendrick ain't that nigga. Now let's go back and play a Drake verse and see how many double and triple and quadruple entendres we going to get in a joint. It's not my fault that these niggas didn't graduate college, bro. It's not my fault. I can't help you that you can't understand English, nigga. The greats is the greats. This nigga ain't saying nothing. Yo, you yo, yeah, I'm serious, serious right now.
I'm serious. <laughs> Look, he gone. Let's go to the rest of the clip. Beck being the logo for Nike, who Drake collabs with. Kendrick is calling Drake Goofy, a non-threatening yeah. dog that's popular but not feared. <laughs> Here, Kendrick undermines the authenticity of Cole and Drake's partnership with wordplay on the cousins Be Legit and E40, aka 40 Water, who are in a group. Wait, wait, wait. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you now. You back. Wait, wait, you back. wait. wait. Pause, pause, pause. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. so uh -huh. are, are you really sitting here saying that... Yes, sir. I am. Drake don't drop double and triple entendres? Not, he's not, he's not going to keep up with this. He's not going to keep up with it. How many double and triples did we have in the last joint? In, in the first person shooter? Probably. Bro, I, I, I didn't. Damn, I didn't do my homework. I didn't know I had to study this. Like, I didn't know you. This the angle you was coming. But I'm sure we listened to it. There was some double and triple yeah. entendres. Like, I, knew, I knew you was going to try to. I knew you was going to try to do this to me. We even got on the stream. I knew what you was coming here to do, and I'm not going to allow you to do it today, sir. I'm standing up for the MCs of the MCs, and I came prepared. I got receipts. This, this is Ken your king. This is your king. This is this is this is my guy. Yeah, he coming for heads this year. Uh, we gonna finish. We gonna finish. Nice. Please, please. This is a play on both checks as in money and blue verification checks on social media. With the underlying message being that there's a lot of dummies with money and or online clout, but both don't mean anything if you're not respected like Kendrick is. But Goofies with a check is also a Drake diss, with Goofy being a cartoon dog, a play on For All My Dogs, and a check being the logo for Nike, who Drake collabs with. Kendrick is calling Drake Goofy, a non-threatening dog that's popular but not feared. Here Kendrick undermines the authenticity of Cole and Drake's partnership, with wordplay on the cousins Be Legit and E40, aka 40 Water, who are in a group called The Click. But Kendrick is also nodding to the beat he's rhyming over, which uses the same sample source as E40's song, Look At Me. I feel like you might have to play this at a higher speed. I don't think we're going to be able to play this back on YouTube, bro. Yeah, right. We might even set the script out that part. It ain't going to play the whole part. Let's go. Now I'm saying, uh, can you uh, fast forward or no? Like, uh, uh, no. Uh, can't make it We can skip it for you. For your dogs getting buried, that's a K with all these nines. He gonna see Pet Cemetery, nigga. In these final lines, we get a direct reference to Drake's For All My Dogs, with Kendrick claiming to bury those dogs like Stephen King's horror novel Pet Cemetery. But this line is a triple entendre. First, K is for Kendrick, a 10, surrounded by nines, Drake and Cole. Second, K is AK, surrounded by the much smaller 9mm. Finally, K plus 9 makes K9, tying a bow on the dog motif. But also notice how getting buried and cemetery in these final lines call all the way back to Kendrick's opening lines, don't pull no coffin out your mouth. A full circle moment to end this incredible verse. Ladies that and was, gentlemen. Hey, impressive. And shout out to him for catching all of that. Pause. Impressive. <laughs> yes, facts, facts. Impressive. Impressive. Facts, impressive. Facts. But now what? What does it mean? No, we yo, I put the shot out there and let me see what y'all bring back. And we're gonna go from there. Come on. Now, first of all, you know Cole is in album mode. He preparing to drop. So I know we're gonna get a response. Now, my question is, are we gonna get a response as like a single record, or is he gonna wait till his album to kind of do that? So the other part is Drake is on tour, so I don't know if he's gonna have time to respond, but let's see. No, he should. No, I'm, I'm that's what the shit I'm tired of hearing. Like, I don't want to hear none of that. If you're on tour, you can make a, you can put a, uh, some lyrics together and, and make mm -hmm. a response. My only thing is, I want to hear a direct comeback. I don't want to hear no subliminals. I don't want to hear agrees. I want to, J. Cole, I want you to come back directly. And also, okay. Drake, my man, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need a response. What do you what do you tell Meek? I need a response in four days. Mm -hmm. I need a response. You behind. I don't care about that tour stuff. Listen, this is the time. This is the perfect time to put all those ghostwriter, uh, all those ghostwriter rumors uh to the side. Yeah. This is Agreed. the perfect time. Make Agreed. a song, drop something. But in my personal opinion, Kendrick Lamar is last on the list if we're talking big three. No matter how you put it, no matter how you put it, he's last on the list. Why? Because Kendrick won, like I said, I can listen to both Drake and J. Cole for hours and not be bored and be good. I can't do that with Kendrick Lamar. One, that's one, right? Oh, two, all right, I'm two. Gonna Kendrick Lamar, his, lyri his, his lyrics are cool. It's okay. Like, like that last thing was fire. Don't get me wrong. He's a good rapper. I don't want to take nothing away from him. But when I'm listening to J. Cole and I'm listening to Drake, it's the way they say things that relates to me. Like, I think Drake had one once said, he said, if the neighbors complain about the noise, I'll buy the neighbor's house. Like, come on. 
Like mm-hmm. that might not be the hardest lyric to, to the MCs line. outside, but that's hard. Nigga, that's like, bro, if, if, if the if the neighbors complain about the noise, I buy them. They like, come on, are we flexing here. I feel like Drake says things that we all can, like that we all want to say, but we can't because we ain't got the money. I feel like that's Drake. Drake is the alter ego. He says a lot of corny things as well, but like, bro, even like all of that, like Kendrick, I think somebody said this when it comes to battle rap. It's like, bro, if the audience don't get what you're putting down, is it that good? It's like, if I gotta, if I gotta, yes, know your audience. I, I think somebody said this about Loaded Lux. If, if, yo, if, I, if, I, if, if we all don't get your lyrics, if we all don't understand, then it's like, come on, like, is it, is it really that good? Like, like mm-hmm. we gotta, we gotta go do a whole math problem to understand what you're saying. Again, I'm giving him props. I think he's really good. It's just, if I didn't hear that whole breakdown, like I would have caught the K9 thing, but I wouldn't even caught the triple entendre. I feel like with J. Cole and Drake, they do it in a simple way, but satisfying as well. So it's multiple reasons why I think K Dot is last. He's good though. He's good. He's just he's okay. Good. Okay. Uh my man Jonathan Jones, he said, uh, they do have the relatability fabric. It's never over your head. Mm. I, I feel like that I'm not gonna. I'm not going to deny what Jay Hill's saying. What I will say is it's super important. And this is co-signing more of Jay Hill. It's super important that the, the rhymes connect to the audience so that the audience could be a part of the, the thing. Now, the thing that makes stuff more complicated is the more of an MC you are, it's just going to be intricacies of the shit. Now, can Kendrick probably be a little bit more relatable? Not going to not going to lie, not going to doubt that. But I feel like this is one of those moments where he can shine and he can show more relatability and he could come back. I feel like this would be a good time for him to not wait another five years to put out some more music. This would be a great opportunity. Smack these dudes around for a couple of months and then drop a dope ass album. Come us with some summertime heaters and like, let's make the summertime exciting. I feel like he's not going to do that because he don't have to. I feel like Kendrick is one of them niggas. He's a Gemini, right? Yes, he's definitely a Gemini. I, I feel like he's one of them niggas that's like, man, because I can, I'm not. I know y'all waiting. Fuck y'all. Like, that's <laughs> like, he, like, just on some asshole shit, in, in my opinion. I feel like he did the same thing with Control. Or I don't, again, I don't remember uh, no, the no, time no, no. frame, but did he drop a, a project right after Control? Nah, I think it was after the project came up, kind of like this. Bro, so it's like, yo, I'm going to come in, I'm going to shake the game up. Why? Because I can. Right. And and we mm-hmm. all know Gemini's they can be arrogant sometimes. It's like, yeah, I can mm-hmm. do this, nigga. And y'all gonna want mu- more music, and I'm not giving y'all more music. And I ain't I ain't saying nothing else unless you nigga say my name in their song. Say it. Say my name. You feel me? Like that's how I feel. But again, even then he probably still won't respond. Like, okay, y'all got that. I'll give a fuck. Yeah, I definitely feel like um what came out of control could be the same thing that comes out of this. There was nobody of substance that he felt like he should have responded to that said anything. Like, J. Cole ain't really do no response, and definitely Drake ain't had no response to it. They let that thing go. But that's the point. It's like, why y'all keep... You can't keep saying you the best and you not about the battle. I want to see a clear battle. J. Cole had a little had a little spout with Wale. That was the littlest spout of all time, and it really... It wasn't even... Remember. Uh, it was like a, a couple of years ago. They had a little, a little, little, little tiff. It was like, eh. Man, and then like, had no tiff with Wale, man. He making love songs with Miguel every chance he get. That's the point. You know what I'm saying? What's the point? The next thing, Drake. All right, Drake. Uh, uh, of the, it's sad to say, of uh, between J Cole and Drake, Drake is the heavyweight battle nigga out of the two of them. Whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. Who, who, who said that? I'm saying that. Oh, yo, he's oh scared. yeah, yeah, because you no. Know? <laughs> Yo, he, yo, I'm not gonna like this. Let, 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 let's be real. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Drake, Drake went in the ring with Meek, got him out of there. Drake got in the ring with uh Pusha T, held his own. Yes. He caught a couple of slaps. He didn't reply, but yo, I will not allow people to say Drake took a a, a complete L out of that battle. Nah, this shit Drake, was dope because Drake. I think what the one thing I love about Drake, as corny as he is, the one thing I love about him. You can tell his is is always tapped into the streets. Always, yeah. like even yeah. if he don't respond, he might say some little slick shit on Instagram to let you know that I see, I see right. that shit y'all talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't get it twisted. And yeah. that's the thing I love about him. But like, uh, he cannot ignore this. this. Yeah, he, he can't. And I feel like he, he shouldn't. This. And and I don't want to hear that big bigger person shit in this instance because Kendrick is the bigger person at this moment. 
he 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 stands on he got the he got the crown he he, he got he, money he, he got the crown right now so come get it as come get there's it. nothing i can say i can say i think drake is better i think cole is right. better but in the moment kendrick got the crown come get it right right you know what i'm saying all right so everybody that's in the chat like shout out the boss man oh that's the og right here that's the og mc who is your money on boss man Yo, Jonathan, who's your money on? Is your money on Drake? Is your money on, you know what I'm saying, J. Cole? Is your money on, you know what I'm saying, uh, nobody, Kendrick? Bro. Nobody, stop nobody want to get in the ring stop with Cole, it. bro. Stop nobody stop want to get in the ring with Cole, bro. Stop playing, If bro. that was true, you wouldn't have got Kendrick out here wilding on niggas. So, obviously, he wants all that smoke. He wants all of it. And I feel like y'all tripping if you think that, that K-Dot going to take an L. Between either one of them, bro. You are tripping. You know what Drake going to do? First of all, first of all, Drake might not even respond to Kendrick. He might respond to Future. One, because I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I, he might respond to Future because that, that, that might cut a little deeper. One, two, I guarantee you, Drake can make a song. We heard back to back. I'm not trying to hear it, bro. You, listen, hold up, hold up. I never been to that, Canada. That works for me. That works for me. No, Not listen, working. hold up, hold up, hold up. Go I've ahead. never been to Canada, bro. But right. I heard that when Back to Back came out, that was like the theme song of Canada, bro. Like Toronto specifically. Like, listen, I can't make this up. One, <laughs> Kendrick Lamar can can barely make a song that we want to hear right now. Barely. He got some songs that slap, but it's a couple. Drake fuck around, make a summer banger that niggas is listening to all summer ain't no ain't no comparing i don't i don't care what you're saying ain't no comparing it's, that's that's cute but when i got when i got my guy future coming out coming down the hill with his mans first album out we done already hit you with the first one there's a whole nother future album coming out you know they could get in the studio together and give y'all a summertime ass shaker. I slept with your baby mom's record and go crazy. You know what I mean? Bro, so like, I, I feel I like with you're your, underestimating the power of K Dot. And I, I slept with your baby moms. Listen, I slept with your baby moms. Is dip. Do you remember back to back, bro? I'm not the listen. You know I just got into this music thing, and I, I'm I, telling I, you, I remember the time. Yes, sir. I remember. <laughs> remember. I remember. Oh, bro, <laughs> It was a it was a record played on the radio Listen, every one he, he had disses in there. He had lyrics in there, and mm -hmm. it was a song that we wanted to hear in the club mm -hmm. over and over again. But Joshua Flesher, K Dot, not taking no L if they going back and forth. Only way I see Drake winning if he leans into the fact of being relatable lyricism that's not too much over your head. That's cool. That's all we need. That's but all we need. Got that too. We gonna get. I'm telling you. And, and yo, get up here, and give you a fucking algebra equation. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> like, like, bro, we done with that. Like, bro, loaded lux. We seen this. Hold up, we we seen this. Loaded lux versus calico, right? Loaded. I don't know if you're familiar with battle rap. Loaded lux. I know. He, I know exactly he came through and he bodied it when it came to like the metaphors and I don't even want to say lyrics, but how we how we how we the delivery. We never seen it before ever in our life. Mm -hmm. He got one of them because he tried to come back and do that shit a couple times. I forgot who, who was it. I forgot. he tried to do it with a couple people, and that shit was dumb. We don't want to. We, it, it's played out. It's like a the baby verse. It's like, bro, it's played out. We heard it. It was good while it lasted. It ain't good no more. The same. Oh, you just hit the double entendre. He said it's a the baby verse. <laughs> no, shout out to the baby. I'm just saying, like sometimes, like you know, some people come and go. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. And that, well, I didn't mean to do that to the baby because I fucking want to get an interview with the baby soon. But right. I got to remember where I'm at. You know, I'm just a, uh, I'm such a regular nigga. I don't be giving a fuck about none of these niggas, but whatever. <laughs> like, I feel like, yo, to be honest, like, listen, man, Kendrick is nice, bro. He's good, bro. I know you and feel like not that. trying to keep hearing all this. I hear what you saying. And I got your money on your boy, Drake. But let's put a let's put a let, let, let's let's put fifty dollars on the let's put fifty dollars on the stream right now. All right, six months because I don't know how fast the turnaround going to be. But I feel like Drake taking the L. You know what I'm saying? Feel, uh, uh, and I, and I'll put fifty on it. I feel like I feel, honestly I feel like uh I don't want to say this. 
Oh boy. I think Cole, I call I think Cole smacks both of them, but I think Cole would take an L before I see Drake taking an L. Mm. Because I feel like I, I see Drake like Drake pause, no diddy. I feel like Drake is a Scorpio. So <laughs> he gonna keep coming back. He gonna keep coming back, stinging. I feel mm. like Cole. He probably gets you with a verse in his album and it's like, bro, I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really see Cole playing that game. Drake, I don't see Drake going out like that. Like, I don't mm -hmm. see him going out like that. All right. I respect it. Now, I got some uh I got some I got some stuff I got to show. Let me see if I can pull this up. I'm trying to find a way. So, they pulled up they pulled up uh what's the name of it? Damn, what's my what's my joint? So, they pulled up the album art and the sound the song titles for future and metro booming and we realized that there's a correlation between the two items hold on so let's say what's the name of drake's album drake's album's for my dogs right for, for all my dogs so they have a track listing for all my dogs and then they got the track listing for future and now you get to see it throw it up on the screen i just i just put that in the joint oh yeah i've seen this man I, I, <sighs> It's petty, I'm, not man. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, so I don't be like, but I guess I guess. Yeah. Come on, bro. Slime you out, slimed in, furthest thing, kaleidoscope. Come on, yo. The shoe fits, Cinderella, trust issues. We don't trust you. This is too much. This is not a coinka dink, bro. This is a whole lot of familiarity, man. Treacherous twins with my twin, a night off, everyday hey, hey, hustle. Look, you know what it looked like to me? What it looked like plagiarism to me. <laughs> it, it looked like it looked like straight plagiarism. And don't get me on future, bro. Well, yo, you we hating on future now too. Jesus. On future, bro. Yo, you know what? You I might I might change that, bro. Drake might take the L in this because all these niggas is his kids, bro. Bro, uh, bro. Uh, listen, no, 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 Future, future is lit. Don't get it twisted, bro. He lit. Don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm going to make it. I don't care. I, let's not got my own opinion. Let's All be right. real. All right. Nigga, Instagram gave Future the trophy. What are we talking about, bro? Before, um, what was the, 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 uh, what was the album he dropped with Future? Uh, what is that? What a time to be alive, or something like that? Or no, something before like what a time to be alive, right? I think Future might have dropped. When did Future drop Dirty Sprite 2? It's like before that. It was Atlanta before that. niggas gonna hate me. Dirty Sprite 1, in my opinion, globally, outside of Atlanta, right? Because I'm, I'm gonna pay respect. Future had Atlanta on lock 100% with Dirty Sprite, right? Mm. Me personally, I didn't really see the global recognition for Future until Dirty Sprite 2 came, and I will say. Dirty Sprite 2 was probably one of the best projects I've ever heard. And it was it what made it better was I wasn't a bigger I wasn't the biggest fan of Future. But we can sit up here and say Drake ain't really co-signed Future like Drake co Drake bro, Drake gave all of these niggas the platform, bro, to be who they are today. Let's be real. Him, 21 Savage, Lord Dirk, uh bro, it's, we it's Kodak Black, uh we can bro, we can the Migos, we can go Everybody you want to talk about right now. Everybody, they, they just shooting at the top so they can get some streams right now. Fuck out of here, bro. And you got me defending this nigga Drake like that. Like, this thing. oh no, you 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 doing a great job defending him, bro. They should definitely put you on his legal team to keep him up and out of there. Look, look, look. I, yo, we understand the OVO check cleared already, and I it get did. that. I respect. <laughs> no, the OVO check is definitely coming. If it ain't came yet, it's definitely coming. Express hey, man, I'm a realist, bro. I call him corny all the time, but I think was was facts is fact. We can't take away from that. Wait a minute, what makes Drake corny? Can we have that discussion? What makes Drake so corny? Oh no, he's I, corny. He's one of the corniest niggas I've ever heard rap ever, ever. He's the cor he's the corny king for sure, hundred percent, hundred percent. Why, yo? Uh, please, bro, he talk, what he said, he the the shit that he had like a bunch of uh diamonds that was a chain that was like all the girls he proposed to. That's the bro, bro. Get some put, bro. And then like his for all my dogs, like a lot of that shit was about. A girl like man, that shit was corny. But he can rap though. I like I give him his respect. That's the thing. I niggas gotta respect the duality in who and who I am. Cause I'm just a realist. Mm. I'm gonna speak my opinion. Mm. Drake is corny as hell, but he can rap his ass off. It just is what mm. it is. 
KJ said, KJ say less says ever corniest nigga ever. Dang dog, you just you co-sign the co-sign. Ain't that but, some shit? Back to what I'm saying though. But you are right, Joe. If it wasn't for Drake, a lot of these niggas would not be in a the position they in now. He hey, really, the future. He he threw the life raft out there and pulled people up into the big time, and I agree with that. Like I, I you know, when people sit around and talk about the greatness of a future, I I don't get it. Yo, he's got so many phenomenal records. Like, yeah, he got a few, but I don't, I don't feel like it's a double CD's worth. I'm like, if you, you I, I feel like if you was to put Drake versus Future, I don't feel like there's any fear that that you know Drake would catch an L from Future. Like, I don't that's, care. I'm going out on a limb today just because I just ate and I feel good. And I just ran seven miles. Everybody, bro, ex for the exception of Lil Wayne <laughs> and, and, and Jay Z, everybody. Nobody can fuck with Drake, bro. Listen, respectfully. Snoop. Respectfully. Listen, respectfully, bro. Snoop. He put the okay. I, I mean, I, I got that. He when it comes to this young shit, he put the lifeline out there for everybody, bro. Even Rick Ross. Oh, I agree. And it's some Pardon. Rick Ross stands out there. Yo, Rick Ross's uh, uh, credibility is only based off of the fact that he can get a Drake voice, uh, Drake verse today and probably get him to show up for the video. Maybe. You know what it I'm saying? Is. The only niggas that have a better discography or catalog than, Dr than Drake, in my opinion, and that's arg and, and that's debatable. Mm -hmm, that's debatable. Mm -hmm. It's right. Lil Wayne. Okay. And Jay-Z. And that's debatable. I'm not mad at somebody debating that. All right, let me tell you top five best catalog of hits. Drake is coming in the top five. Hove is in the top five. Snoop is in the top five. Buster's in the top five. Wayne is in the top five. So, so let me ask you this. You putting Buster in there before you put DMX in there? Yeah, Buster got way more hits. Let me tell you, Buster was Buster was making hits almost a decade before X came out. That's that's how crazy it is. So like, if, you, if you're doing that, then I mean, I I don't belong in this conversation. But if you're gonna do that, then how you not say LL Cool J? Come on, this is you your know, time. Why is the only reason why I would say that is because LL fell off. Early 2000s, it was like mid 2000, let's say 2007, 2008. That was like the mark of his fall off. Nigga, the nigga, wait, come on, Jay, told 2007, 2008. Yeah, You're yeah, yeah. supposed to know this more than me, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, name my name. My seven. No, 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 no. I'm saying you're right, but right, even right. if it's 2007, because I don't know if right. you're going to say 2007, true. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but bust the head hit music when I was. I'm talking about, and you got to remember the whole time LL. Well, I ain't gonna say the whole time LL came maybe a little bit after after uh Buster came a little bit after LL, but like Buster's got way more hits, and I'm talking about features. Okay, and, cool. like, crazy what shit. about Buster, this? Crazy. Go ahead. Buster Buster style has been pretty much the same from when I heard him. In my opinion, I could be wrong because again, I'm I'm thinking the style has evolved over the years. But go ahead, I'm listening. When we talking about LL Cool J, bro. Mm -hmm. He made it cool. For Ja Rule to beat Ja Rule. LL Cool J, bro, when LL Cool J first came out, he was mm -hmm. spitting. He was mm -hmm. nicer than a lot of these MCs niggas talking about. And, and, he, at the same and, time. Then, and then he went hard turn mm -hmm. to do R&B. Mm -hmm. Same at the same time. Same time. Same time. Same record. On. You got all I'm bad and you got uh uh uh, uh I'm in love. Are they all on the same album? So like you know what I mean? I get it. LL was the progenitor. He was the 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 soil that our future came off of. Uh, yo, LL Cool J not only was the first solo artist in hip hop history, he was also the nigga that birthed the hip hop formula, the album formula. Yo, you gotta have them hard street records. Yo, you gotta have a radio record, and you gotta have a joint for the girls. He literally created the formula that all solo niggas followed for 30 years before the streaming era came and niggas could just make albums about whatever the fuck they wanted to make albums what, about what was you know? what was um what was ll cool j not first single but it was a uh it was a rock the bells what was the single it might have came out of the 90s one of the hardest raps i heard it was a rap song 
Um, you just said which rap song? He got a bunch of hard ass no, rap songs. Like so, the, you talking about like when he was in his MC MC bag around around yes. Method Man and and and, and Red Man time. Like uh, what was that uh 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 what the fuck the the damn the joint that had cannabis on it? No, it was just him. I think mm. was it Rock the Bells? How did Rock have, the Bells go? No, no, Rock the Bells. Uh, I think that was fucking. No, that, that was, was like '97. I mean, no, 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 no. That was earlier than that. That was the late '80s. How did that, that go? Was... How did that song go? Let me see. Uh, I think I think that's the song I'm talking about. Pull it up on. Let me pull it up. Four, three, two, one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yo, I would. Yeah, it, def- it was right the bell. L L O J is hard as hell. Tell yeah, anybody how can you t- what? Uh, that shit right, hard. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I prevail. They all fell. All right. We're not putting Eminem in this co- in this list, Mr. King 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 Odo. Wait, wait, but wait, 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 wait. That's somebody. I feel like as we got older. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm not talking on my ass. I'm not trolling. I feel like as we got older, we did L- we did Eminem dirty because Eminem had all of us millennials, maybe not you, at a certain time. Mm-hmm. Talking about him, and mm-hmm. as soon as we got older, it was like Eminem, not all that. Like, bro, it's crazy mm-hmm. how soon niggas forget, how quick people forget, mm-hmm. and I don't like that because mm-hmm. I was one of those people too who was who almost fell into that category of who, uh hating on, Eminem. On, hating on Eminem. Yes, I was almost there, but I had to think about it. I had actually had an interview with one of his artists, and I'm like, yo, wait, bro, because even when we talking about. When 50 Cent dropped uh Get Rich or Die Trying, mm-hmm. it was Eminem time. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It was it was heavy Eminem time. I wouldn't all right. Well, first of all, I would never deny his greatness, but when we talk and he's got a catalog, like let me not diss y'all. I'm not trying to diss nobody and say niggas don't got catalog. But when you start talking about catalog, especially if we're talking about versus battle shit, when you say Lil Wayne. You're talking about Lil Wayne features. Lil Wayne had a hundred. What are you talking about? When, when we talk about top five greatest catalogs, you're talking about not only the albums, but you also talking about the verses that was contributed to people's songs. That's a part of his catalog. Yeah, for sure. So, both had four summers with nothing but whole features. Yo, there was years where whole albums didn't come out. Hove was still number one because Hove was doing features for everybody. Features for his squad. Features for R&B singers he was fucking. Features for R&B niggas that he was cool with. Yo, the nigga do two albums with R. Kelly with the goddamn, come on, bro. Like, and had hits all throughout them times. So, like, when you're talking about a catalog, we're talking about top five catalogs and that's the reason why I'm saying Busta Rhymes. Busta Rhymes not only had multi-platinum albums with five six mega hits on each album he also had the crazy feature run as well so he's out here giving niggas features left and right up and down all over the place so like the catalog is deep so i'm not disrespecting eminem and i feel like kanye is a cheat code because kanye is a producer i'm so not he's putting like, bust in my top five but i'm not mad at somebody putting him in their top five yeah 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 and yo we can easily put kanye in top five but kanye is a producer so he produced for mad niggas and then would just slide the verse into that joint because that's what an ill nigga do you know what i'm saying and he got hits he got hits like crazy and, and different is, genres. Is one of them. so my, like my you thing know, is so little wayne went through this a little bit this is my only thing with kanye what have you done for me lately? His music, his last project slapped, I think. It was Don't good. Just... Yeah, but his verses, his, his his lyrics was trash. I hated it. Like, I could have did without Kanye West on a Kanye West album. That's just how I felt. But, I guess well, my... let, me, let me not say that. I could have dealt without Kanye West lyrics on a Kanye West album because it, it wouldn't have been a project if it wasn't for Kanye West. So, that, mm-hmm. let me clear that up. But, going back to my point, Lil Wayne faced this a little bit. After Lollipop, when he got into a skateboard bag, niggas kept trying to say Lil Wayne was falling off. They mm-hmm. ain't like him. And then he mm-hmm. bounced back crazy. So I say mm-hmm. that to say, we know the industry. We know the life. We know the game. It's about what have you done for me lately? Mm-hmm. And we've been asking for old Kanye West for too long now. So at what point do we say... Are we canceling Kanye? Oh, p- please tell me we can cancel Kanye. Come on, because I know you're the big Kanye fan, but can we bury this nigga in the backyard, please, bro? Oh, no, I'm with that. I'm not mad Diddy. at that. No, I'm not Before mad at that. Before we bury Diddy, let's bury Kanye. Let's just... He can still come out and do old hits, but... 
We can't Bruh. wait, 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 wait. We can't bury Kanye before we bury Diddy because Diddy is doing real live foul shit to people. I don't think Kanye West has, you know what I'm saying? Like he gave millions to HBCUs. You said Diddy gave millions to HBCUs. Yes. What the hell that got to do with anything? If he try, if he, if he fucking sex trafficking little girls, like what are we talking about? Like, he created the love album, bro. Come on, you got to love right? on the love album. Yeah, he's loving on, my... <laughs> bro. That's another conversation. Listen, all I'm saying is we can cancel you. I'm okay with that. Like, yeah, he did it to himself. You know, I'm a big Jay fan. Right. And, and when I say cancel, I'm not talking about y'all gay niggas cancel, where it's not you. But I'm saying, I'm saying y'all niggas at, at home gay nigga canceling because a nigga say some crazy shit out of his mouth and now you don't want to talk to him no more. No, not that cancel. I'm saying retire from the music side. You know what I mean? I feel like he just need to take a couple years off. He need to find some young talent, attach himself to that. And then, you know what I'm saying? Produce some other niggas. I you feel like he needs to find his way musically. You know the problem I think that well, well yeah, what? is he's having too much success. I mm. pray I never, I pray I never fall into this situation. And again, not to keep going back to the zodiac shit, but Ye has been the definition of defying all the eyes his entire career. Oh, he's oh, been okay. the de he's been the definition. No, he's been that. Let me tell y'all at home, he been waiting to give his Kanye. Speech, go ahead, bro. I'm no, listening. I'm not. I'm just saying because it hurts me to to not really care for Kanye West. No, we are we gonna sit here and you're gonna tell me that he's been the underdog his whole career? Yo, if you want to say the first half of his career he's been the underdog, that's cool. But after the second album goes multi platinum, you're not the underdog anymore. <laughs> hey, you, <laughs> that's the whole the thing. And, and, the and moment graduation hit and those mega hits went off, you have become. The, yo, you are music, you're music royalty. Kanye one to whole standard. Yours? That's the thing. Oh, I'm not standard. listening to it. No, but that's the thing. No, I'm bigger than the world. Million bro, record. Bro, bro, he's he's music. World. Royalty. Listen, that's why I can that's why I can relate so much. But cool, who is the world when I'm bigger than the world in my head? Who like who think about it, bro? No cap. I'm make a small analogy, right? What, what I'm saying is, is that you're trying to say he's the underdog. You're talking about the guy that even at his most hated, because right now Kanye is at his most hated, is doing 200,000 records sold in the first week with the album being taken down, put up, taken down, put up, taken down. Come on, yo. He's not an underdog, nigga. I'm that's like you, that's the Gemini that's shit. A, you just no, have the Gemini I'm saying, bro, I'm saying to uh -huh. who's standing, isn't he the underdog, right? He came in a game, mm -hmm. producer, right? Mm -hmm. Niggas ain't want to give him a chance to rap. Mm -hmm. He started rapping, he killed the game. I'm, I'm talking about competing mm -hmm. with 50 cent at 50 cent peak. Mm -hmm. A lot of niggas talk about get rich or die trying, but they don't talk about um what was it? Uh the massacre. Mm -hmm. The massacre did crazy too. Mm -hmm. He was competing with 50 cent at his peak, right? Mm -hmm. That's that's two different examples. Mm -hmm. I understand to the world he was Kanye West, but even then, Kanye West had things to prove. He made the red Octobers and took Nike sales through the roof. And they act like they, they did the same thing a company did to me. They act like they did the numbers because it was Nike. No, it was Kanye West. Cool. Mm -hmm. He wasn't getting, he wasn't getting acknowledged by the, the top designers of the world. He kept asking for that. They wasn't showing him love. What did he do? He go to Adidas and flip Adidas upside down with the Yeezys. Come mm -hmm. on, so I get it. So you're you saying he's not he's not the underdog because he dropped all his music, but that's the whole standard, bro. He want he wanted to do something bigger. So even with this last thing, Vulture, he got no real, he got no promotion. They didn't push this. If anything, they try to take it down. He still go number one independently. That's my mm -hmm. thing. That's why I say I think Kanye West is his biggest. I think he's his biggest downfall. Kanye West is Kanye mm -hmm. West's biggest downfall, and this is mm -hmm. why it's sad for me. But I don't really care for him anymore because. I don't like his attitude. It's like, bro, you're doing too much now. Like, I do mm -hmm. miss the old Kanye West, and I don't like the way you're talking to people. I'm just not feeling it. But I'm not about to ignore that he's been the underdog to his standard his entire career, and I can see that, and I respect it. And if if that were true, when you when he sits in front of some way like Sway Calloway on the Sway in the Morning Show, and he's and he's making these statements about, yo, these companies don't respect me, da da da, and Sway saying, bro, do it on your own. 
Like and and Sway is saying that because you have he we know you have the power you have the audience you've built the the legacy you've built the greatness we know you are designing guru we know you got fashion sense but you know what I mean he put himself in underdog positions the same way he put himself in that position now he put himself in it but that doesn't necessarily make him an underdog that just makes him a big ass dog that be climbing underneath a table wrecking shit he like you a right. big ass dog in a little ass apartment you but right. he's not an underdog he's you a big right. ass you right Jay <laughs> but let's paint a picture there let's paint a Go picture ahead. here mm -hmm. you're absolutely right but can we say that Kanye West would not have went number one independently if he didn't give us, if he didn't have the resume to back it up, for example, great, agreed. He can, he can, he can post some clothes online now because of what we saw him do with Adidas, what we mm. saw him do with Nike. We seen it. So now, like, so I get, I get everybody so quick to say, do it on your own. But there's a difference between doing this for a respected brand and then branching off by myself and then trying to start off by myself. It's different. I see mm. it even, agreed. even in my career, right? I was working for DTLR, right? DTLR is a huge company, huge platform. I created <laughs> something that was great. And from there, when I left or when I was forced out, I was able to continue to build off of something that I built off of with a company that people recognize. So people recognize Adidas. People recognize Nike. People recognize all of the, the, the people that he's working with. So now when it's time to go by yourself, you can do that. How many people we, we, we see that's independent? Think about it. Russ. Russ okay. is selling out arenas. Right, right. But Russ right. ain't Russ ain't nobody we talking about. No, I get it. But let me ask you this question: because you are a huge Kanye fan, if Kanye had went to Japan, found a designer, and and showed us the process on YouTube, man, I'm going to you know Japanese Japan. I'm finding a Japanese nigga. He show you the process of him sculpting a sneaker from scratch. And you see it because you're Kanye. You're seeing him do this, and he comes out with the Red October without the swoosh on it. You trying to tell me you're not gonna cop the Red October? JS One, I'm a fan. I get it, but bro, you have like the world, especially our culture as black people. Niggas are the biggest like label whores. Niggas is what's the word? Okay. Like I will, I will respect that. I respect that, and I understand that's the reason why Kanye went that direction. And you and he's proven the model at this point. So I get you. Think about but, it like this. Go ahead. Uh, for real. Mm -hmm. Even Dapper Dan, if they drop some shit independently, yeah, it'll be a cool brand. It'll be a cool brand. It'll be fire. Yeah, black owned. Salute to that black man. But niggas ain't screaming from the top of their lungs like they doing now. Why? Because they're connected to a bigger source. It's like, nah, I'm about to go grab me some LVs because of um, Pharrell. I'm about mm -hmm. to go cop some, some Gucci because of Dapper Dan, right? Because they respect Gucci and, and, and LV and they support a black man having a high position in an already high company. Right. I mean, I don't feel like they're... Uh, well, I feel like Dapper Dan is a great uh, example of that. Uh, 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 Pharrell is not really a good example because he's had multiple brands under different banners and they've all done well, whether it was BBC, whether it was, you know, human race or whatever, whatever. He's always had successful brands, whether it was with a major or with a, with a smaller independent, even the ice cream sneakers that were ugly as fuck. Them niggas used to sell the fuck out and then resell for three and four hundred dollars. So like, I, I, I mean, I feel like he lend, leans more into my example versus anything else. You know what I mean? Like when you're in the fashion, you're going to fuck with the fashion. Like, you know what I mean? And the results are still going to be the results. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I get where you're coming from and I'm not going to hate it, but I'm, but I will not I will not accept the premise that this nigga was after that. Let's just say he was an underdog until he was face to face with 50 cent. I feel after like, that, you ain't the underdog no more. I feel like he was the underdog in his perspective journey, bro. Like, yeah, he might not have yes. been the underdog in music at the time. Yeah. Respect. He, he, but he was trying to go a different route. He was definitely the underdog. Right. And even now, or with Virtues, with Vultures, He's the underdog, and again, this ain't nobody. This ain't nobody. I'm not making excuses for the man. This ain't nobody fault but his. He was the underdog when he dropped vultures. Why? Because niggas ain't rocking with him. You said a bunch of off the wall stuff. You mm -hmm. supporting racists, like you, you, you doing crazy stuff. So mm -hmm. granted, he put himself in that position, but I'm mm -hmm. just saying the facts 
is the facts. He was the underdog because nobody wanted to support. Nobody wanted to touch Kanye West. No Diddy. Pause. Mm -hmm. Nobody wanted to touch him. So therefore, he put himself in a position where most artists, when they drop, are not in that position. Mm -hmm. That's I'm just acknowledging. It. That's just my opinion. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. All right, real quick. We ain't got a lot of time. We got about 10, 10 of them minutes. Maybe we might maybe go just skip the Diddy. We ain't gonna go there. We gonna skip Diddy. Oh, yeah. Damn, bro. We I mean, have to come we don't got no time. Some time. I want time to talk about Diddy on Sunday. Uh or or whenever when when was oh no, we're not coming back. Uh we might. I don't maybe, know. Maybe tomorrow night or something like that. Maybe you can get in a late late session or something. I'm you waiting. know what I'm saying? But I, I really feel like uh one last thing on kanye kanye was an underdog in his mind mm. now that's the reason why crazy? he still feel like he's an underdog that's why he fights so hard because in his mind he don't really feel like people respect him and i definitely don't believe that i yo i, I you gotta understand niggas will fight against you because they they scared of you because they fear your power but you're not an underdog. You just somebody they fighting because they don't. They, you know what I mean? They trying to take you down before you take them down. Type dumb shit. You, you know, know what I mean? What, you know what it remind me of though? Yeah. What up? I think I heard it before. It remind me of like a boxer. Mm. Like you have to put yourself. You gotta mentally prepare to put yourself in a position to think nobody fuck with you. You got to, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you can come out on top. Because mm -hmm. at the moment, any moment you slip and you think it's sweet, it can be mm -hmm. over. So you mm -hmm. mentally gotta prepare yourself to say, "Man, these niggas think it's niggas. Niggas think it's it's sweet. I gotta mm -hmm. show the world. Whole time we all know that you one of them ones. Mm -hmm. That's, That's a fact. That's a fact. And the only reason why you caping for Drake is because your girl told you to. And I get it, bro. You bro, don't want I'm it. not, bro. I don't. I don't. You think don't. You, want to on bro, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? I understand why people think. <laughs> I, I just have my own opinion, right? Uh -huh. I don't care when she talk about Drake. Because me personally, I just never been a celebrity wow crush type guy, even though she say that's not her crush. She say that's her like a brother. That's what she say. Right. But I mean, that's what she say. I mean, what, 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 what that mean? I don't know. That's what she said. That's all I'm saying. So I don't like when she says it, 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 it make my skin crawl. You know what I'm saying it give it yeah. give me a it give me a crack well, in my yeah. ass. I'm just saying so yeah. like I don't <laughs> so don't don't come up here and say don't, don't, don't come up here and say I'm only caping for Drake because my girl because if it was up to that I wouldn't I would say fuck that nigga like you know what I'm saying like my girl talk about you too much I'm just a realist I'm I'm being real so I bro I I give respect when it's due Drake is a phenomenal artist bro and a lot of times we sleep on phenomenal artists because they don't come in a form as we, what we want them to look like. Just like when most Def said he's not hip hop. That's some corny hating shit. I hate the fact that you gotten so good at this talking head shit because you just said you just make the Drake the underdog. This nigga is no, not. I didn't make him the underdog. Nigga, niggas hating on Drake because he's going to get his ass spanked, dog. Bro, niggas. Bro, niggas all I'm saying is, bro. Niggas don't. I don't think niggas give Drake the respect he deserves when it comes to rapping, bro. Let, bro, I don't think niggas ever since Meek Mill came out with the 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 uh, the um the writing rumors, and then the nigga actually came out. What's the guy name? Quentin Miller actually came out. You feel me? Like ever since that happened, niggas not respecting his pen. Hey, say I'm on. I I I. I... <sighs> I don't agree with that, bro. I don't agree with that. I definitely feel like people, I feel like that's something still going on in his mind. Bro, we know he a writer. We know he can, we know he spit. Hey, who knows he's he a writer, bro? Who, who is Everybody you know that he a writer. Who, who when if bro, the last most deaf, one of the, one of our legends, right? Respect you, salute. One of our legends just came out <laughs> in the public and said, Drake is not hip hop. No, I'm not doing this with you no more, yo. I, I call it. I call it, yo. You got it. You brought most death into this conversation. You got it, bro. You Wait, win. Did, I'm letting you have it. I'm letting you have it. No, you yeah. right. You was right. That's why I said I'm waving the flag. I, I'm waving the flag. You won that, bro. And there's <laughs> a lot of other people who look at Drake as pop. They don't look at him as a as a rapper. As a fact, so many skews. <laughs> but that's what happens. You know what happened though? I'm gonna take the Drake cape off. But you know what happens though? When you're the greatest, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody knock you the fuck off. No, 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 no. People hate the greats because mm -hmm. you knock off their favorites. Tom Brady. Niggas hated Tom Brady because he always beat our teams. 
I hate that nigga. Le- right. uh, LeBron James, Michael Jordan. Bro, when you great, bro, niggas always going to have something to say. Everybody. Mm-mm. Everybody. When you think of the great, if you think about the greats, like the niggas that's right, undisputed greatness. Niggas always trying to put some smut on their name. We, we we have the potential of Drake is mainly a rapper, but he experiments in pop and R&B. Yes, I, I 1000% agree with that. But the point I'm making is this is the first time Drake has had to contend with a real MC That's with no true. excuse. Yo, Pusha T was a real MC. A real MC. Hold up, hold up, hold up. But it was personal. So niggas had to dead the beef. Yeah, yeah. You ain't there's no dead in this beef because there's nothing personal. Nobody's gonna get hurt. There's no gangster shit involved. This is just straight lyrics. So don't be calling the big homie to come down and do a press release and say, hey, yo, ladies and gentlemen, yo, we ain't gonna do this no more because we don't want people. This is not nah, nigga. Kendrick ain't hearing that. You can't hide. There's nothing to hide behind Drake. So let's go. I mean, Put the right. out. Your I mean, man's gonna cape for you, and that's what's up. But when Kendrick comes spank that ass, we're gonna see who really run the game. And Cole, and guess what? I'm gonna say this to you in your face. I'm finally happy to see somebody qualified to knock Cole the fuck out. I'm so tired of Cole. I've been t- I've been tired of Cole. Been, been, been tired of Cole. And I like them kind of, but I'm sick, yo. I'm sick of these niggas, bro. That's some old Dude. hating ass shit, man. No, it's not, yo. Y'all, yo, y'all be loving Cole for what he boring as shit. No, Every he's time not. I'm, Are you stupid? Yes, yo. I'm so tired, bro. Stop, yo. Stop. You get Wait, you say you say J. Cole bro. is boring. Yo. Is it you crack? Not, is I it forgot. crack? No, it's not crack. You, you. I'm done. I'm done, yo. yo. J. Cole <laughs> is one of the best to do it because. He can go lyrical, and the thing about him, he's so good. He's one of them backpack rappers that can jump in any bag. He, he can, can go, he can go super pop. He also yeah. can go super MC, right? No, you can't. But he all he can do this all while being himself. He don't have to talk about no guns. You said what? He said Coke is boring as shit. I agree. Yes, yes. Thank you. Cole is boring as shit. Even your chat is working against you, sir. Thank you. I have to be the truth teller. And this why is he boring? Why, why, why is he boring? He boring, bro. The beats be mid to low tempo. He the be rapping okay. my phone as hell. All right, when the last dance song he had? Like, he don't be, he just be, yo, is he a dope lyricist? Yes. Yo, yo, he's one of the dope niggas. And he gonna go toe-to-toe with Kendrick. He gonna get slapped around a little bit. And then Cole gonna hold his thing. But the mid to low tempo records all day long, I can't do it. Yeah, the, beats, the beats are kind of yeah, okay. But to say he's boring, you act like we talking about Big Sean or something. Like yo, man, come on, J. Cole. Cole. Yo, did you just oh, let me put that down? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna allow you to do that. That's an Aries brother of mine, so I can't allow you to you, do that. We're <laughs> talking like we talking about Big Sean. We talking about J. Cole, bro. We ain't talking about Wale. We ain't talking about oh, we ain't I'm talking a, about Saha the Prince. I'm we not, talking I'm about not, J. Cole. Uh, I talk about hey, I love Saha, but I ain't talking about Saha neither. We talking about Cole, you know what I mean? J Cole here. I fuck with Sean too. Thank you, sir. I, all right, thank you. Well, I, I, I fuck with Big Sean, but I'm just saying, let's get it. Let's not get it twisted. We Cole is boring. I didn't Yo. get it twisted at all. I told you very clearly and concisely that this nigga's fucking boring. And I'm so happy that niggas is mixing it up. And notice how what the record came out Friday. Now the one of your niggas that you cake for has dropped shit. It is. Tuesday night, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it's Tuesday. It's been four days. Niggas ain't dropped shit. What are we doing here? What are we talking you're right. about? You're right about that. <laughs> now you're right. I'm with you when it comes hey, when, when it kind of that. Hey, you gotta get up. You Rick, gotta get up. Man. Like, what's Rick, up? Get, get up. Fight get back. Up. Fight you're back. Not, look, I'm look with that. I'm not be fighting for you, Cole. Look at your man. You got to do Listen, it for him, bro. All I'm saying is, you're you right about that. But to say he's boring, that's a reach. He is. Oh, you got to stretch is. before you reach that 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 far, bro. I don't have to stretch for shit, bro. That's a reach, J Cole. Did you just hear? No, no, I'm sorry. Correct myself. I spent six hundred dollars to go to his festival last year and watched him damn near in the front row. He was boring on stage, nigga. That was Wait. the most. Shit. I seen that nigga live and he was born. Bro, I seen bro, him live and he was probably one of the best 
shows I've been to. Yo, Drake killed him in his own concert. Okay, he killed Wayne Drake killed in his own song. He ain't killed him in his own concert. He because he killed, he killed, Drake. He killed Drake on his own song. Everybody's <laughs> rap with. Let's let's pull up the feature list. Everybody had come out at that point. So like, huh? I got you that. No, everybody he's rap with, he either them on their own beat. Remember when? Remember when? This is how bad it is. Remember when? Um, Renegade drop. Yeah. And everybody had something to say about Eminem. Yeah. Body and Jay Z. Yeah. You remember that time? I know you remember that time. Yeah, I remember that time. That's what that's what J Cole do to everybody when he on that track. Everybody. All right. So I, once again, I appreciate you, sir. And I, I, I know you feeling good right now. You, you had, like you said, you ran seven miles. You had some good food in your system. You feeling healthy. You look, look, your skin is glowing. Yeah, your yeah. hair's still nappy. The haircut ain't that good. But show you in there. You in there. You know what I'm saying? You that nigga right now. But I'm getting out of here. So what y'all need to do, yo, if y'all haven't done so, and I'm fucking up because normally it's my job. Subscribe, Patreon. Hot boy brazy, subscribe to the Patreon. It's only three dollars, man. Show some love. Oh yeah. Speaking of, um, I can't what? say it publicly, and I won't. I won't do that. But what? speaking of like the greats and the in the in the goats of rappers, we were talking uh -huh. about. I just right. did an interview with uh somebody close to them. It's okay. on my Patreon. I can't say okay. what the relationship is because you know what I'm saying. Like I respect my guests, and I want to mm -hmm. continue to have guests. But uh, it's with a young lady. And we ain't talk about it, but well, we talked about it off, off camera. I'm sorry, guys, but mm -hmm. it's a dope interview. Go go check out Patreon. Mm -hmm. Make sure you All subscribe. Right. We'll check y'all next time. I'm out this joint. You good, Playboy? What you need? You need anything else for I roll? No, we out, man. My nigga, we out. Gang.